Hello, it's the 4th of May today, or Star Wars Day as people call it, um, and I've just got down the allotment today. As you can see, it's a just the most glorious day. We'd had a load of cold weather and now the heat seems to have come back which is absolutely fabulous. Um, at the moment, and it's only just gone 10 o'clock in the morning, it's about 16, 17, 18 degrees. It's supposed to get up to like about 19 today which is, is fabulous. Now I've come down here and I'm just about to go and start to, to dig a bit more of a bed over there to, to plant some more carrots and some more onions and I've just come over to get some water and I've just had a wonderful surprise when I've seen my asparagus bed. Um, I haven't been up the allotment for 10 days possibly um, and there was no asparagus showing whatsoever and I've come up today and it's just given me the most wonderful surprise. Um, the asparagus I sowed from seed about three years ago um, I did make a little video when I did that. It's a long way back, I can't remember when. Um, and um, I planted it out into the soil um, and it, you can't harvest it for about three years. Um, if you buy sort of um, a, an already, you, sometimes if you go to a garden centre you can buy it in a plastic cellophane bag. Um, if you plant it that way you can usually plant, uh, harvest it after the second year but if you do it from seed it's usually about the third year. Last year they were really quite spindly um, the asparagus so I left them to go to seed um, but this year well you're, you're going to see there's not many of them um, but I am so proud so um, let, you, let me show you my asparagus and how to harvest it. Right, well, there's a lovely tall one there that you can see. That one I'm going to harvest, and next to it, I don't know if you can see these, there's lots of little ones on their way, so hopefully they'll start to come up soon. Um, there's some little ones down here, there's a few more in the front down here, and then if we pan over to this side, you can see some more. There's a lovely one there that I'm going to harvest. This one down here is nearly ready, but I'll give it a little bit longer. And then there's a lot more little ones, loads more little ones here that uh, will be ready to harvest in a, maybe about a week's time. There's another lovely one just possibly out of shot. Um, it's about here. Uh, there's this enormous, huge one here. Uh, and there's another one over there. And there's, there's lots more at the back here coming. So... Let's harvest the first of the asparagus. Right, now I'm going to do this really big one here. I will harvest most probably one, two, most probably about half a dozen. Now normally you harvest it with um, a knife, but I didn't know that my asparagus was coming up, so I'm not going to be able to harvest it with a knife. I'm going to have to use the shears instead. So all you do is you have to harvest it just below the surface of the soil. So if you do have a knife, you should just be able to just get in um, through the soil. But because I'm using my shears, I'm going to have to dig just a little bit. It's not far down. Be careful not to disturb any of the others that are growing uh, near it. And then all you need to do is just cut it off. And then we'll cover that up and then lots more will start to grow. So there's one and let me harvest some more. Right, well, I've harvested four. Uh, there are another couple in there, but I'm just gonna leave those to grow just for a little bit longer. Um, but as I say, there's lots more little ones growing and hopefully as the season goes on, then I'll get lots, lots more, which will be so exciting. Um, make sure that you keep your asparagus um, bed weed free. Um, and that you feed it on a regular basis, either with plant food and I use seaweed fertiliser. So um, when I um, water this, I'll give it another quick uh, weed very, very carefully because you don't want to, um, to cut off any of the new spears that are growing. Uh, then I'll give it a water with some seaweed fertiliser in it. So we'll most probably have these for dinner tonight. That would be so exciting. Um, so um, now I'm going to go and uh, plant some more carrots and um, I expect I'll see you in a bit when I do something else. Right, well I've um, filled this bed now, it's a huge bed um, full of onions and carrots. Um, 
I've still got more onions to sow so I'm gonna um, I've got another bed up the end there so I'll start to dig that over tomorrow but the carrots that I've sown today um, there's some orange ones and they're called Norfolk and uh, also some purple ones called Purple Haze. Uh, I've grown these ones, the purple ones before. They did very, very well. Uh, some purple ones you get are orange inside and other ones you get are purple all the way through. Uh, these are, are new, apparently, so it'll be interesting um, to see um, how these ones do. Um, it does say here, if carrot fly is a problem, delay sowing until May. And we are in May so that's okay but if you sow your carrots and your onions together then they help each other um, so um, that's those I still have more carrots to do but as I say I've still got more onions to do um, so um, I've been down here for um, a couple of hours now um, and I'm getting quite hungry so <laughs> I'm always hungry um, so I'm gonna pack up and go home and then I'll be back down tomorrow and I'll carry on well, I hope what I've shown you today um, you found useful. Um, we are going to eat that asparagus this evening for dinner and I will let you know how it tastes. Well, I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye-bye.